Custom buttons. Custom buttons are a great item to use to make things easier for your agents. You could create a custom button that pulls up your help desk ticket. You could create a custom button that also pops a website. I'll show you how to create a custom button and how to double check that your agent or particular user has security rights in order to have access to those custom buttons. Custom buttons are a great way to make life a little easier for your agent. On our toolbar here that we see in the center of our screen, right to the right of pickup is where we're going to create a button that launches our company website. You could have this also create a, create a ticket or a form or pop up a notepad that you want your agents to be able to write down notes after finishing up an interaction. Very easy to create. We have to create this out in an administrator, so I'll show you where we start. Once an administrator, I'm going to go ahead and open up my people container and click on client buttons. As we can see, there aren't any buttons created over to the right, so I'm going to go ahead and right click and create a new one. We'll go ahead and title this client button. I'll go ahead and click OK. On the client button configuration window and the client buttons tab, the top, we have the text. That's the text that will appear on the button that we see in our interaction desktop. I could add in a description as well. I could have an icon listed on that if I wanted to pull one in. We can change the availability or put and or put in the action. In this case, I wanted to launch an application. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the website from here. If I want to add a user notification when that website is popped, I can check that box as well. Clicking OK, and automatically we have created our button in Administrator. The button will automatically pop onto your agent or particular user screen, as we can see here, if they have the proper security rights. The proper security rights can be found in the People container under Users. I'm going to go ahead and double click on my user and open up my security tab. By clicking on access control, it's going to allow me to search for the particular button that I created. By typing in the search field, it automatically shows the client buttons. I'm going to make sure that they have access to view that. Once I'm done, I'll click OK. Let's go ahead and test out our button. Automatically, you can see that I'm launching the application down at the bottom right hand corner. And as an agent, it allows me to not have to search for the website. It automatically pops it up, makes it really easy for me as I'm on the phone with a customer that I can find the resources that I need. This has been another just-in-time short video on custom buttons.